Hey everyone, today I am out on the western suburbs of Bangkok and I'm shopping for an electric scooter. Now if you lived in China before, you know that their electric scooters are totally ubiquitous. They actually banned most gas scooters years ago. I had one in Shanghai a couple years back, really, really loved it. They're so fast, so smooth, so quiet. Now in Thailand, scooters are everywhere. It's like the main method of transportation in Bangkok. But electric scooters really lag here. I think part of that is cost, um, and part of that is just the regulations from the government. In the last like couple of years though, the government has been making a big push to make these a lot more legal. So this first bike I'm looking at is made by a company named Daco, and they just got regulatory approval for it, so it can get a proper license plate and a proper registration here in Thailand. It also has a massive battery that can drive you up to 200 kilometers on a single charge, and it has an optional level two charger so that you can charge it up at gas stations and other public car charging facilities. So let's go have a look at it and see how fast it is. This is Mr. Song Wu, <laughs> uh, who's been kind enough to let me test drive this thing today. I just noticed this uh, cool little coffee place. So let's go have a look. Uh, cappuccino, please. 50 baht. Oh, 40? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. This place is super cute. It's just in this tiny little shack uh, on the side of the road. They basically just got a coffee machine and an air conditioner in there. Let's try a taste. Mm. I love how in Thailand it's so hot that they just automatically make you ice cop these unless you say that you want hot. Really great on a warm morning like this. Wow guys, well that was pretty fast. Uh, more than enough for around town and quick enough you could even go on a bit of a road trip with it charging up along the way. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. It's pretty awesome. Um, so this is quite fast. It's got a um, 72 volt lithium battery um, and a 2000 watt motor um, which propels it, uh, the company says, somewhere between 70 to 90 kilometers an hour. It's got a very modern style. Let's take a look at it here. Got a nice little backrest so you can have a second person on the back there. Um, spot for the license plate here. Standard kickstands. Now if we look at the controls here, very modern. They've got this large iPhone looking type of gear cluster. You got the throttle on the right hand side here. Mirrors. They have a three speed switch here. Uh, if I turn the key here you can see the instruments turn on um, standard stuff battery uh, speed and which speed mode you're you're in this thing has a lot of torque so uh, you really need to be careful just at the very beginning because it's very quick off the line the seat houses a really massive battery let's take a look at this 55 amp hour battery and this is set up so it's portable. You can actually lift this up to take it into your house to charge if need be. And it can be fully charged in three to four hours with a bigger adapter. The only downside is because it has such a massive battery, um, they actually have to put the battery underneath the seat. So you do lose that storage area that you would have on a less powerful bike. I'm looking at a couple other brands too, so let's head on to the next one and see what theirs is like. The next spot was one of the many vendors selling cheap bikes on Lazada. I had to see if there was a decent deal to be had here. Hello. 
Can I talk to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so How are you doing? Hi, good. I'll save you the gory details, but basically, don't even think about buying a bike or scooter off Lazada. If you're not Thai, it's going to be very difficult to register the bike if it's even legal to register at all. And in this case, these guys didn't even have half of what they claimed to have in stock. It's better to go with a local, reputable dealer. All right, let's check out the next one. This small shop was one of the official dealers of Deco, which is one of the most famous local scooter brands. It's a bit underpowered at only a thousand watts, but the price is good, so I thought I would check it out. Yes, what Oh, this one is Hana. Oh, Hana. Yes. It's 1,000 watt? Okay. And what about this one? Oh, uh, this one is not Deco, and this one cannot be this. Oh, no register. Yeah. Most of the bikes in her shop were not street legal. This Hannah by Deco is one of the few that is. She wouldn't let me take the camera while I drove it, but oh, so like it definitely year. had less power and was a little too slow for the city streets for me. Finally, the last one of the day is the most established brand at the highest price point. Okay, so now I came over to Strom to check out their Gorilla version two. So this one is what? That's two. Oh, they're, they're all 200 out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, promotion. I like. Okay. Promotion. Oh, good. Okay. Wow, so that thing was really, really fast. I would say it seemed even more responsive than the other one. I'm not sure why. The motor is the same size, the voltage is the same, but the acceleration just felt a lot more responsive overall. It's not a small bike, it's pretty large, um, and it'll do at least 80 kilometers an hour. You can get an upgrade to a 3000 watt motor and they say that will take it up to uh, 100 kilometers an hour. I don't know if I want to ride a scooter that fast anyways, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Finally, it was time for lunch. Coconut and iced milk. Could I get one of these? Good. 
the first one is a bit less expensive and has a longer range but it wasn't quite as snappy so I'm probably leaning towards the Gorilla I really like the acceleration on that unfortunately it's a three or four month wait so I'll be waiting for a while thanks so much for watching subscribe to my channel if you like content like this and leave a comment down below what else you'd like to see in Bangkok